onto this story now. The public has until tomorrow to make written submissions on amending section 25 of the Constitution. The amendment will allow for land expropriation without compensation. The chairperson of Parliament's ad hoc committee on section 25, Dr. Matole Motecha, joins us from our Cape Town studio. Sir, good morning to you. Uh, so you were accused previously of not giving much attention to written submissions. Are you confident uh, you've done adequately this time around? Uh, we have repeatedly said that uh, we will give full attention to all submissions and uh, today we will be meeting at 10.30 to receive what has been uh, submitted, give a consideration to that and then decide on the way forward. As you say, you meeting today to discuss uh, the process that the committee will undertake next. But interestingly, in your media alert, you also say you will be uh, discussing the committee program on provincial public hearings. Are you repeating what you did last year? You see, what must be understood is that uh, I'm not a little dictator as chairperson. Uh, I take my mandate from the, a multi-party committee. That multi-party committee will be sitting today to receive a report. And uh, together as a committee will deliberate on that what has happened thus far mm. and the committee will take a decision and it won't be my personal decision it will be the decision of the committee and we seek by all means to make sure that uh, we reach consensus so that uh, we move forward together as uh, all parties represented in Parliament. Dr. Matecha, are you suggesting that uh, there has been no consensus thus far on public hearings. Last year you did hold these meetings in the various provinces. There has been a consensus that we must uh, have public hearings. Again. But today we will uh, rec receive a report of uh, the submission received. But uh, members of the committee reserve the right to uh, change the program, not the chairperson. So uh, depending on what will be presented to us today, the committee will decide uh, how we move forward, whether we extend the deadline or not. Dr. Motsekha, as is, it is public knowledge now, uh, the ANC has decided that uh, it wants to give uh, full powers to the minister on issues of uh, compensation for expropriated land. How do you plan to deal with this as a committee? The ANC provided leadership because uh, as parliament, we made a call on all political parties to go back and uh, consult. And the ANC apparently was the first to go back to its NEC and NEC Lekota and consulted. And it responded to our call. And we made a call, repeated our call to other political parties to do what the ANC has done. So uh, the ANC was not dictating to parliament. It was responding to a call by parliament. So uh, there's nothing out of order that the ANC has done because we expect the same of all political parties. Uh, Dr. Motecha, your words uh, in answering this very question uh, are quite or might be perplexing to political parties involved in this process. You say the ANC provided leadership. That would suggest to others that uh, the ANC... The is going to simply bulldoze its way using its majority here on this latest clause that you want to amend now. 
they provided leadership in the sense of being the first to respond to the call of parliament. Uh, so we expect other parties to also come up with their submissions because the call was not to the ANC, the call was to all political parties represented in parliament. But the ANC was the first to respond to the call, so we expect other political parties to do the same. Dr. Matole Motsecha, thank you very much for your time. He is uh, Parliament's other committee chairperson on the amendment of Section 25.